she takes everything with like, you know, gusto and, and zeal. So it's really kind of cool to, to marry the, the, you know, very, you know, rugged uniform and tap into that kind of like, oh yeah, I got this attitude. Amazing. Guys, this film is amazing. I love Thank this Wonka. I mean, this, uh, this is the perfect winter movie and I feel that Paul captures the magical essence of Willy Wonka in such an amazing, wonderful way. Uh, Kayla, first question for you. As a young actress, uh, what was the most valuable lesson you learned uh, or experienced on set and working with Paul? I feel like working with Paul, I definitely learned that I could create like a lot, like, cause he really created like a new world, a new Willy Wonka world. Of course he has to go off of what the Gene Wilder version, but he has, he has the flexibility to make it his own. And he really like, he really told me like, some cool like creative things that I could do. Cause I love, I love writing and I love all of that. So seeing that, it was just super cool. And Natasha, you play Piper. Piper is a fantastic character. Um, can you talk about uh, getting into the role of wearing, wearing her costume and how that kind of like helped you get into the role of Piper? The first costume fitting, um, I saw that the inspiration was Rosie the Riveter. Sure. And of course I was just like, yeah, there are black people down there helping during the war too, I got this. And just putting it on, it just made me feel powerful and step into that energy of just, I can do anything. And you see her even working down in the in the washroom. Um, she takes everything with like, you know, gusto and, and zeal. So it's really kind of cool to to marry the, the, you know, very, you know, rugged uniform and tap into that kind of like, oh yeah, I got this Amazing. attitude. Yeah. Look, Timothy is fantastic in this film as well. Uh, you guys both got to work with him. And I was really surprised by um, his his ability with the song and dance. He is fantastic. Uh, Kayla, can you talk about working with him and creating that chemistry with Timothy and also what he brought to the role of Willy Wonka that wasn't on the page? It wasn't hard to create chemistry. We just like, we really became friends the moment we laid eyes on each other. We just became best friends. And um, yeah, he's super fun to work with. Um, we did Thanksgiving together and then we had chemistry not only on the screen, but off the screen too. And um, he, I really love watching him get into character and watching him become the Willy Wonka because he did a really, really good job. And he's really great at becoming his characters. And um, yeah, I love how he likes to go back and forth with Paul. And I love how he likes to talk to the director and, and um, figure things out. He's really good at that. That's amazing. Now, speaking of Paul, I don't know if there is a better director out there that can give you such a heartfelt message mm -hmm. uh, in such a magical way. Um, can you talk about collaborating with Paul on this project and what his directing style added to Wonka? I mean, I was a, I, I'm a fan of his for a long time and fell even more deeply in love during the Paddingtons. And I remember when my team reached out to me about the film and they're like, you know, Paul Keane is, is directing, wrote it. And I was just it's like, I'm so, oh yes, 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 let's take the meeting, let's, let's do this. <laughs> and to meet him in person, he's just so lovely and warm. And um, I'm such an Anglophile, so his British sense of humor really resonated, you know, resonated with me. Um, and I just feel like he understood the sense of play that's innate in an actor and let us play around and saw us come alive with costumes. And, you know, the set was practical, so it wasn't CGI. We could actually see this world. And so it would also inspire different things and be like, oh, I want to try this. He's like, yeah, try it. You sure. know, like, so it was just a really collaborative, you know, working experience. And he's incredible at what he does. So it was beautiful to be a part of. What did you guys learn about yourselves through playing Noodle and Piper? I learned um, I can rock a, a head scarf. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I really enjoyed playing uh, a character who was so down to like help and like be conspiratorial and really figure out solutions by any means necessary. And I think it really just like brought that you know, sense of play out in me of just like, oh, we're a gang. Like we're, sure. we're you know, mm -hmm. Dorothy had, you know, the lion and the Tin yeah. Man and, you know, the Scarecrow and Willie had, you know, Piper and uh, the rest of the gang there. It was really cool. I really loved playing Noodle. I feel like it was, I mean, I loved stepping into the role of playing a character that is an orphan because I, of course, I've never experienced that before. So being there and just feeling how an orphan would feel was cool. Um, it wasn't really hard stepping into the character because I feel like me and Noodle are almost the same. Like we, we think the same way, I feel like. But I feel like Noodle, she really wants to follow her dreams, but she doesn't think that she could get there. And, um, but Willie really brings that out of, right out of her and she finds, oh, well that's, I'm not gonna say that. But she, <laughs> um, she, she fulfills her dream.
Well, look, you guys did such an amazing, incredible job. Uh, like I said, this is the perfect holiday movie. Thank you guys so much for your time. <laughs>